Well, Rosalla is just a legend, isn't she? She's got the most distinctive voice out of everyone I've ever worked with. You cannot mistake her vocal on a record. And, and you know, I mean, obviously her monster, monster hit, Everybody's Free to Feel Good, um, is, you know, on everybody's 90s playlist. It's it, it never goes away. Kylie did a cover of it. Um, it's one of the most sung songs on X Factor. It's been it's been performed by nine different contestants on X Factor. Everybody's free, and it's just in our our culture and our blood. Everybody's free. You know, as a DJ, it was a song. You know, if ever there was a problem on the dance floor, put Everybody's Free on, and you're guaranteed to pack that dance floor. But it wasn't Rosella's only hit. It was one of you know she was double figures on the hits um her albums and her singles and 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 you know as a teenager everybody's free came out in 1990 and that was the year that i came out <laughs> at the age of 16 going down to revenge in brighton and every time everybody's free came on you know oh place erupted and her vocal on that record is the most distinctive vocal on any club anthem ever. So, you know, I was really pleased to meet Rosala when I first met her because she was definitely one of my idols. I loved her image in Are You Ready To Fly video. And, you know, she discovered Britney's, Britney's uh, spray on PVC all in one. That was Rosala's outfit. <laughs> Britney nicked that idea. And, um, you know, uh, so so my friend John Barry, um, who was the guy behind uh, the first ever Prides and everything, they used to call him Mr. Pride because he he was the uh, host at all the gay Prides back in the 80s and onwards, uh, like Manchester Pride and everything like that. And he was the LGB committees and all that. And he was also a songwriter himself and he dabbled in record production and, you know, he was all around entertainer, really. Anyway, he'd, uh, he'd booked me numerous times to sing on Gay Prides and he'd also booked Rosala and we'd always had a laugh backstage and got on really really well and then he wanted to put together an album um, called Forever Bond and basically he wanted all the divas off of the uh, gay scene all of the big chart divas he wanted to re-record house versions and pop dance versions and high energy versions of all the on themes and you know i thought it was a great idea the new movie was just about to come out and it was getting loads of publicity and we all love bond songs but they're very difficult to dance to so i thought what a great idea so he asked club kids james and me to, to produce it and you know, it was just fantastic. We had everybody, you know, Soraya Vivian, um, uh, Kelly Lorena, Angie Brown, Hannah Jones, the, you know, the people on it that were my favorite vocalists really anyway. And Rosala, she, she was track one on the album with Diamonds Are Forever. And it's a fantastic, fantastic mix. And um, anyway, several years later, the, the, the album was was my bestseller. Actually, it, it went platinum, and uh, because it sold over a hundred thousand copies, and it was when albums were still on CD as well. So I, I co-produced that album. It was my biggest uh, seller, and they they re-released it later on with extra mixes uh, for the platinum edition. So I was very proud to have produced a platinum album. Anyway, several years went by, and. You know, the 90s and 80s, it never goes away, does it, the music? But sometimes it comes back into fashion and sometimes it may slip out of fashion a little. Anyway, it was coming back into fashion. And and the record companies were noticing, obviously, because it was at a time when downloads had gone through the roof, but also streaming had gone through the roof. And you don't really earn much money out of streaming. Nobody earns much money because people aren't buying it. They're just playing it once or playing it twice and streaming it from, from Spotify or YouTube. And they hadn't really made the laws very clear on, 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 you know, royalties and stuff. So record companies were losing millions. But the money, the, the ones that they didn't lose money on were classic artists because older people 
were still buying CDs and sometimes even records. Um, and obviously it was the younger generation streaming everything and older people still preferred to go out and buy an album, buy a CD. So record companies started to re-sign classic artists and, um, and Rosalla was one of them. So she ended up getting a new record deal and they needed new songs. And um, anyway, I, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd gone into the studio with, with my friend's daughter, actually. My friend Catherine, who's, who, who, who used to be my backing singer and backing dancer years ago, who I love. And uh, she's now the top QVZ presenter. And <laughs> but I just love Catherine. And her daughter was so talented. She sent me her daughter's demos. And what a talented little songwriter and singer. And um, and so, um, Christina Huntley, her daughter's name is. So I said to, to, to Catherine, you know, we'd get her in the studio and, and try her out writing a song. And we wrote a song called Honey and sent it off to Rosella's uh, label. And she didn't know it was me that had written it. And out of the hundred or so songs that she got sent, she picked Honey to record. And then she didn't know it was me that wrote it. And then she found out it was me and she just went crazy and she wanted to come into the studio. So she came into the studio and recorded Honey. And then we just started to write about your songs. And I said to Rosala, do you do songwriting? And she said she dabbled, but she'd not had her own songs released. That she'd always been pressured into to recording other people's songs. And I said, you must come in and write with us. And I, I used her as inspiration. First of all, we wrote a song called This Lady. Love that song so much. It was very personal to Rosala. And then we wrote the song that you were about to hear, Turn On The Light. Um, and having Rosala there in the studio, singing the lines as, as we were writing them together and writing the lyrics together. And then Nixie had done a beautiful uh, backing track. And just having her there, we made it a complete autobiography of Rosala's public life, shall we say, of Everybody's Free and all the singles and talking about, you know, how her music inspires her and, and and just saying how lucky she was to get another chance to be at the top of her career again. And she really is just an amazing artist. I've been so privileged to write songs with Rosala. And uh, this song was in the top 10 dance chart all over the world here in America and all over Europe as well. And everybody loves Rosala. And this is very proud for me. You can also hear me on the backing vocals of this. <laughs> this song is, is my favorite song that I wrote with Rosala. This is Turn On The Light. Screaming out my name 
Decision. I'm holding the key to mixed reality. 